Assalamu alaikum. I'm Kashif Shahzada and today I'm going to talk about the pilgrimage of the heart. They are not drawn to it because of advertisements. No one goads them to it. There are no social pressures and no legal requirements to make the trip. Yet every year millions crave the journey. For many it is a once in a lifetime opportunity and for which they have devoted their life savings. It is a desire for which tears are shed and supplications are made, not only with hands held high towards the heavens, but also with foreheads touching the ground in deep prostration. When the wish is granted, the supplicant feels a calm which cannot be described but can only be felt. That first sight on the Kaaba adorned in the ever familiar black and gold kiswa and surrounded by a white necklace of pilgrims in motion is a surreal moment where suddenly the notion of time and space disappears. It is a mystical moment when tears cannot be held back and one is lost for words. All is forgotten. You don't realize who or what is around you while in your first tawaf, for then there is only you and your Allah. We should not make the mistake of thinking that Makkah has a successful marketing strategy. Rather, it is Prophet Ibrahim's prayer about her citizens, which is recorded in the Quran. Chapter number 14, verse number 37, where he says, فَجَعَلْ أَفِدَةً مِنَ النَّاسِ تَحْوِي أَلَيْهِمْ he prays to God, so fill the hearts of some among people with love towards them. It is this prayer about Mecca that draws millions to the city. So let us not forget that the Hajj is in fact a pilgrimage of the heart. It is not the outcome of a glossy tourist brochure or some lure of entertainment. There are no such incentives and in fact it is a journey which takes the traveller out of his comfort zone, away from the amicable surroundings of his life at home, to a physically demanding event, bereft of pleasures and full of life-threatening hazards. There you will have to brave severe weather, face sickness, safeguard yourself from stampedes, be vigilant to avoid accidents, walk great lengths, and experience exhaustion. Yet some people risk life and limb and even make their way on foot amid a landscape fraught with peril. Let us not forget that the crowds are in fact a fulfillment of prophecy. As Prophet Ibrahim was foretold in the Quran in chapter number 22, Verse number 27. God says to Prophet Ibrahim, وَأَزِّنْ فِي النَّاسِ بِالْحَجِّ And announce the pilgrimage to mankind. يَأْتُوكَ رِجَالًا وَعَلَى كُلِّ ضَامِرٍ يَأْتِينَا مِنْ كُلِّ فَجِّنْ عَمِيكَ They will come to you on foot and mounted on every kind of camel, lean on account of journeys through deep and distant mountain highways. The Hajj is indeed a life-changing experience. When it is done, as the Quran says, Lillah, or for Allah, and no one else. Its motivation is the love of Allah. It is a hardship undertaken only for His sake. The transformation takes place by self-imposed regulations for a fixed number of days and by experiencing some events which will all leave their mark on the pilgrim. Here is an event which will enable you to spend time with people other than your own kind. You will mingle and mix with people from all walks of life, rich and poor, black and white, young and old, you will be helping people on the way and will experience communal living rather than 
selfish individualism you will be tested on numerous occasions you will be required to control your temper abstain from carnal pleasures forego vanity of dress and appearance there is no better way to diminish pride and learn humility appreciate diversity and practice charity being in ihram for a number of days when one is not used to the attire and that too while observing certain restrictions is a training in itself to be camped and cramped in mina to sleep under the open sky at muzdalfa to be a small unit of the concourse of humanity at the plain of arafat to walk miles to jamarat and back to perform tawaf around the kaaba and the sa'i between safa and marwa all require considerable patience and endurance to travel and lodge with noisy strangers for many days to feel the hard ground instead of a soft bed to have one's hairstyle and fashion disappear suddenly all these experiences aren't exactly joys but are tests that prove to us our mettle and inform us whether we are willing to move out of our comfort zones solely for allah these experiences are meant to break us from our preferred status quo of life and to respond to a higher calling those having the means should not delay the hajj unnecessarily for the quran orders in chapter number 3 verse number 97 walillahi ala nasi hijjul bayti man istata'a alayhi sabila pilgrimage there too is a duty that people owe to allah those who can afford the journey while those who do not take the obligation seriously are also warned wa man kafara fa inna allaha ghaniyun 'anil 'alamin but if any deny faith then allah stands not in need of any of his creatures 